Good morning ladies and gentlemen. Today we are going to learn how you can solve method of variation of parameter in the most easiest way. What you need to do is before you can start, you need you should know how you can calculate CF that is complementary function. Hmm. You need to know complementary function. Then you should know uh, how to calculate the on skin that is how to solve a matrix so it, let's start I am going to tell you the shortest method by which you can solve let's take a differential equation of second order uh, d square y upon dx square plus y is equal to cos x let's say this is our equation we need to find the auxiliary equation of this replace d, d square y by dx square by d square plus 1 into y you, you, you should know that we have replaced this d d square by dx square is equal to d like we have replaced we have replaced these are the basic thing you should know uh, before solving a method of variation of parameter d upon dx is, can be taken as d now see let's take it as cos x x now auxiliary equation we have to find the auxiliary equation and this is m square plus 1 equal to 0 m square is equal to minus 1 now value of m is equal to plus minus iota because this is m square is equal to minus 1 so it is minus iota plus minus iota now we we know that when the when the value of m is equal to plus minus iota the CF that is complementary function is equal to C1 cos x plus C2 sin x uh, if you are if you are getting confused that, uh, about this equation then you should you should know how to calculate a complementary function uh, I will teach you in another class about this if you don't know but let's see now calculate the we have to calculate the ron scan before this we know that this is we have to assume that this is y1 the first part and this is part y2 we have to assume in every condition y1 and y2 now you can see that we can calculate ron scan for simple matrix the formula is y1 y2 y1 dash this is dash for differentiation and y2 dash now calculating it w is equals to this is w w is equals to cos x that is w1 y1 sorry and uh, y2 that is sin x and the differentiation of these cos x is equals to d upon dx of cos x is equals to minus sin x d upon dx of sin x is equals to cos x now cross multiplying this or I'm solving a matrix like cos square x cos x into cos x cos square x minus into minus sin square x the equation has reduced like w is equals to cos square x yes 
minus minus plus sine square x which is equals to 1 we know that we know this by the formula that sine square x plus cos square x is, is equals to 1 so now w is equals to 1 uh, so now the solution is now the solution is y equal to cf plus pi but in this case mm, let's take pi is equals to now we know that we already know what the cf is so we have to calculate pi to do this the formula is y1 into u plus y2 into v and we can calculate u by this formula u is equals to always remember this formula u is equals to minus integration of r into y2 that is the second part in the complementary function y2 upon w always remember that the first part here u for we use uh, y2 with to calculate uh, u and we we will use uh, y1 while calculating v this is extremely important most of us uh, does the same mistake by taking y1 along with u here so now it's almost done minus r is r uh, yeah i forgot to tell you that r is equal to this this is r this is our r okay so r is cos x into sin x upon we know that this is w w is equal to 1 so minus sin x this is already 1 so we can neglect this uh, cos x is equal to 1 upon sin x so sin x dx we cancel and minus dx which is equal to minus x so we have calculated u now let's take another page move this page from here and start yeah now we have to calculate v we have already calculated yeah for your reference we have calculated u here is equal to minus x now we are going to u is equal to minus x now we have to calculate v v so that we can put v in this formula so v is let's remove this from here v is equals to minus r y1 upon my w look carefully we are calculating the second part of uh, particular integral that is second part is v you can see here y1 u plus second part v but we are using y1 here this is extremely important to learn because most of us commit a mistake here now we know that cos x is our r and cos x now ron scan is 1 so we can write it like this so v is equal to change the camera orientation so that you can clearly understand v is equal to minus cos x upon sin x yeah this is cos x is equal to 1 upon sin cos x is equal to 1 upon sin x into dx which is equal to cot x dx integration of we know that v is equal to integration of cot x dx is equal to log sin x okay uh, let me mention here so that it will be easier to you cot x dx is equal to log sin x okay now the solution is almost over now the solution is y is equal to we know that complementary function plus particular integral we all also know that C, cf is equal cf is equals to our c1 cos x plus c2 sin x plus pi is equals to know that we have to write it like this 
this is our pi you can see that show you pi is equal to y1 into y2 y2 plus y2 into v1 that is pi is equal to y1 we know that our y1 was <coughs> Let me show you uh, that is pi equals to y1 into u. y1 into u is equals to minus x cos x. Okay. This is minus x is this is minus x is, is our actually minus x is our this is u this was our u and cos x is from and cos x is cos x is from yes this is our u and cos x and then then we put this sin x into log sin x and here this is our v so the question is over now c1 is equals y is equals to c1 into cos x plus c2 into sin x minus x cos x x cos x plus sin x into log sin x and this is the answer I hope this will clear, clear the method how to solve variation of parameter this is the most easiest way so Thank you. My camera is a little bit shaky. Thank you for watching. Subscribe me. And hit a like. Hit a like. Okay, ta-ta.